Richard Sandor changed the face of financial markets with the invention of the interest rate futures in the 1970s, and then changed the face of environmental markets with carbon markets in 2003. But he's not done yet. Sandor, who authored his latest book called How I Saw It, Analysis and Commentary on Environmental Finance, told John Lothian News that water, medicine, and even education are ripe for financial market innovations. I'm struck by how similar financial innovation is independent of whether it's an agricultural, a financial, a common public environmental good, that they tend to be very, very similar if one steps back and looks clinically. Of course the tools are different to solve them, but they're also remarkably similar. You know, we go in good derivatives and we talk about seven stages of market developments and it you can fit that model to SO2, you can fit it to Gini Mays, you can fit it to bond futures, you can fit it to carbon dioxide, and, and now we're working on uh, the American Financial Exchange, which is to develop a, an American interbank offering rate. We call it Ameribor. It's amazing to me that we have no U.S. interest rate. London has LIBOR, Europe has Eurobor, even China has Chibor, and our latest effort is to create uh, a new benchmark interest rate and an interbank lending platform. 21st century is all about water, okay? Um, there's not enough of it, okay? Which we talked about when I was in Hong Kong. Um, the North America is long water, pretty much from the Mississippi East and Canada. Europe is long water, and South America is long water. Africa is short, Middle East is short, India is short, China is short, and we now have water trading, but we don't call it water trading. We call it grain trading. And in effect, you export a, a bushel of corn, it's 108 gallons of water, okay, and wheat and things like that. So there's a surrogate for water, but there's a way to trade water and a way that makes sense. Um, and I think after my current project, I got about three or four other things like water, endangered species, biodiversity. There's just more subjects out there which are dying for solutions. Um, medicine. Take a look at all of the breakdowns in society, education, all of which lend themselves to private incentives for public goods. So I think the next century is going to be more exciting than the 20th century. Thank you.